Today I'm going to show you my Harbor Freight tool haul. Um, some people may ask what type of professional uses Harbor Freight tools and the answer is pretty much no professional uses Harbor Freight tools. But there are exceptions. Uh, sometimes you just cannot overlook really really good deals on simple items. I'm going to go through what I got and how much I paid and why I chose to get these items at a Harbor Freight um, quality. First item is this um, retractable air hose reel. I've been wanting to get one uh, for this shop and my last shop. It just makes keeping hoses up off the floor, organized, no knots and kinks. This is a assume it's high quality. We'll see if this thing actually works. I made some individual reviews on these. It's 50 feet long, high quality hose. It's the only mechanics in here are this, uh, the, the way it rewinds itself. Let's see what this thing, if we can get this to go in. Next item is this 30 foot retractable extension cord. So this guy here, this is just going to make things a lot easier plugging in corded tools. Looks pretty good. I got some very inexpensive hand tools. These belts go with something else. I got this for $2.99. What this does is it converts my impact gun that is normally used for driving screws. This is, allows you to put quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch sockets. So you can drive in lag bolts or bolts or whatever you need. You need to, always need a pair of channel locks. The reason that I'm getting all these, these little things is because I don't like going back and forth from my other workshop or my tool trailer to this woodworking tool shop. And I've been leaving them there or leaving them here. Anyways, this is just, you know, seems like pretty decent quality. I mean, how do you screw up a pair of pliers? This is a $5 hammer. No, I'm not going to frame a house with it. I'm not even going to build anything. This is just going to be used for tapping, hitting things. I'm not going to forge uh, horseshoes or anything with that. This is just a $5 hammer that's going to be used as a $5 hammer. $3 pry bar. It's hard to screw up a pry bar. That's why I chose to get a $3 one at Harbor Freight. And of course, tape measure. This one was free. Okay, next up are, I guess you call mechanics tools, but I will not be using these to do any sort of heavy duty mechanic work. I do have some higher quality Craftsman and Snap-on mechanics tools in another workshop. But these here are just for assembling things and fixing things on this table, like that garage door opener in my last video, or at least the last video that I uploaded. And again, I don't like going from workshop to workshop or taking things out of the tool trailer, because I'm finding that I actually get to work on someone's house and I'm missing tools because I left them here. Now, one thing about this, uh, these Pittsburgh tools is they are guaranteed for life. It's similar to a warranty that you would find, wow, this is, there's a lot of tools in here. Similar to a warranty you would find on Craftsman, you just go back to any Sears with your broken ratchet and they just exchange one out, no questions asked. Um, so that's pretty good. It does come with some open dead wrenches, but I decided to get a whole nother 32 piece set. Again, these are also guaranteed for life. If they were ever to round off or break, uh, they, the, uh, they get stripped on the insides. 
They're guaranteed for life, so it's kind of hard to go wrong. This cost me $99, and that's probably, that is the most expensive thing that I bought, but it was $30 off of what they were normally asking. And this one here was 17 bucks. This tool and my next tool are probably my biggest risks uh, purchasing at Harbor Freight. They do not come with much more than I think a 30 day warranty at the store, but they're so dang cheap that it's hard to go wrong. This is a $39 bench grinder and um, I need several. I have one in the other room that is just designated for sharpening tungstens. And this one here will probably also go in that room. I'm try to keep that room as a, a metal working room as well as a spray, spray booth room for painting. This is a six inch belt grinder. Like I said, this was $39. We got some clips for these spark guards, little plastic things that go over the top here. And it's all metal construction. There's no plastic on it. Um, the bearings and the wheels, these are two different grit wheels, are all serviceable. And um, Harbor Freight supplies all that and you can find the, the um, rebuild parts on Amazon. So if this were to ever get serious commercial use and wore out, you can repair it. Or you just throw it away and buy another $39 one in two or three years. Okay, last but not least, and this is the one I'm most excited about. Um, again, this is a power tool that is pretty cheap and is not meant for commercial high, I guess high or high level of use. Primarily got this for sharpening this knife. I've used a, a ton of knife sharpeners and this guy here, I've, I've used one in the, in the past uh, that wasn't mine. And the one that I used in the past got this knife the sharpest it's ever been. And for that reason, I uh, purchased this. This one didn't have a, a coupon but I did use the 20% off super coupon. So this thing was $44. Um, it's got heavy grit belts. Those are the belts. The belt grit that I want to use for sharpening this knife and possibly sharpening other tools, they do not sell at Harbor Freight. But I saw these and I said, well, you know what? I may just test this tool, push it to its limits, use it as if I would use a tool any other tool. So I've got a 40 grit, an 80 grit, and a 120 grit. Overall, I think I got a pretty good deal on all these tools. I spent a total of $357.95. I did get a total of a $90 discount. I filmed this video, God, it's been about two months now, and I've had things set up in the workshop and I've been using them. So I just want to take you around and show you how I have things set up or temporarily set up and how they've been working for me. So first thing is the uh, belt grinder. The, this is a one by 30? Yeah, I think it's a one by 30, one by 32 um, belt grinder. Now what I did is I went on Amazon and I ordered a thousand grit belt for sharpening this guy. So I got this all sharpened up, and as you can see, I uh, keep my instruction manual around for testing to see how sharp it is. A lot of times I end up uh, shaving the hair off my arm. You probably don't want to see my arm hair though. So I'll just uh, get this thing razor sharp, and part of my job I really need to have a very sharp knife accessible at all times doing that. But uh, on to the next tool.
And the next tool I have mounted to the, a rafter up here. This thing is this thing is awesome. And I use it uh, all the time. I used an old air hose to connect this to the pancake compressor that's on the shelf. Well, this is where I have my uh, extension cord. Um, it's actually been painted. I've been using this quite a bit. Um, I just have it on a nail on this back wall because this is really the only uh, outlet that I don't have in use. And I can wheel the, um, the drill press. So if I need something that uh, I, I got a support on this end, I can wheel this drill press over here, um, get it plugged in. So overall, all these tools have performed just as good as any other tool I've had. They haven't been put into production use. I have built a full set of cabinets in here where I used most everything in some way or another. Um, but for a handyman shop, a home shop, or a light duty uh, cabinet shop, I don't see why these things uh, would fail on you. I'm using a new camera. Uh, it's a camera that I usually use for a different channel. Uh, the audio seems a little weird, a little different than the GoPro. Uh, definitely, I don't even know if I'm in frame right now because it's got such a narrow uh, field of view. Uh, but if you have any feedback, uh, leave them in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up.